The human skeleton is amazing. For example, the human baby skeleton has 305 bones that fuse together while growing to form 206 bones in the adult skeleton. But did you know that bones have other functions than support? The bones in the human skeleton store calcium, produce blood cells, and regulate the endocrine system. There are two distinctive parts of the skeletal system, the axial and appendicular skeleton. Axial skeleton is composed of 80 bones altogether. These 80 bones make up the spine, ribcage, and skull. While the appendicular skeleton is composed of 126 bones that make up the pectoral girdles, the upper and lower arms, and the pelvic girdle. These parts of the skeleton also help maintain upright posture, movement, and protect major organs. Different bones do different things, such as cartilage that provide flexible support for certain parts of the human body, parts like the nose and ears, for example. Joints connect two bones together. Bones only break when a fracture happens. There are five types of fractures. A stable fracture is when the broken ends of the bone line up and are barely out of place. They need to be healed by being put in a brace. Unlike Stable fractures, unstable fractures are usually put back in place. The scariest of fractures is a compound fracture where the bone is sticking through the skin. It happens a lot in extreme sports. Transverse fractures is the horizontal line of a fracture. Oblique fractures have an angled pattern. Comminu fractures are when the bone shatter into three or more pieces. The cause of fractures are trauma, osteoporosis, and overuse. Treatment for fractures include a cast that leaves your afflicted area immobile for the bone to heal itself. Another kind of cast making the area somewhat able to move. Metal pins or screws that lead to a pole like in Doctor Strange. Or even setting or aligning the bone with a gentle and steady pulling. Do not set the leg or fix the bone in any way unless you are professional. Fractures take several weeks to uh, several months to heal. You know how I said bones only break because of a fracture? I kinda lied, but on purpose, so I can tell you that bones are constantly breaking. I know what you're thinking, wait, what? Yes, it is true. The bones in our body are constantly breaking down and rolling or replacing old tissue with new tissue. The types of bone cells that are spawned in modeling old tissue to new tissue are osteoclasts, osteoblasts and osteocytes. Osteoclasts attach to the bone is to break down bone. Osteoplasts form the bone. Not only do osteoplasts form the bone but can also mature into osteocytes or the lining of the bone. Bones can also be plagued by diseases such as arthritis, spondylitis, or rheumatism just to name a few. Rheumatism occurs in supporting parts of the body such as the muscles, bones, tendons, etc. Arthritis is a kind of rheumatism that occurs in the joints, while spondylitis occurs in the spine and is usually found in someone who bends their neck for a long time. There are many more diseases and other affections that can occur in your muscles and bones that I couldn't fit them all. Some of these diseases can be treated. For example, arthritis can be treated with joint surgery, medication, vitamins, etc. Others can prevent irreversible damage to your joints like spondylitis if treated before it damages your joints.